What's happening, dudes? We got a Kershaw on the table, and it's one that I've never tried before, and now I can, thanks to Jason of Knife Dope. Uh, he sent this to me to check out, and let's get into it. Subscribe to the channel, Instagram, duties underscore daggers. Let's do it. Oh, made in USA. Nice, nice, nice. I know what this is already. This is the live wire. Hell yeah. Awesome. So, here's the deal. I have been pretty happy with my Benchmade shootout. Um, this is the only OTF that I've really been enjoying carrying. And that is because it's a good slicer. It's a good cutter. It's an overall good work knife. Every other OTF I've ever tried, it's it, it looks awesome. It feels awesome. It just didn't cut with, uh, very good at all. They're thick. They don't have full flat grinds. Uh, they, their handles are little rectangles. This has a nice full knife handle that's comfortable, and I've really been enjoying it. So, uh, Jason was saying uh, he thought the Kershaw Livewire might be a good uh, contender, or at least something that I liked as much, maybe more, than the shootout. Um, so that's what we're going to do. He said I could cut test this, which I'm really looking forward to, and we'll see. Um, is it a better option than the, uh, the Benchmade shootout? And honestly, I kind of, I kind of hope it is, because... This at retail price is 300 or a little over is too much for this knife. I got it on sale for 200, which is the only reason I bought it. Um, 300 for this is too much. This is a, an FRN plasticky feel and handle. Um, it's got a good, you know, the blade's good. It's crew wear. Um, I, I really like the blade, but the handle is just, it's too much for, for 300 bucks. This is full aluminum. Um, and let's fire it. Ooh, all right. Definitely much smoother feeling switch. Um, that's one thing on the, uh, another thing on the, the shootout that I don't love is the switch, you know, actually it's gotten better since it's kind of worn in a little bit, but since it's plastic on, or wait, it's aluminum on plastic, um, it just, there's a little drag feel in there. This feels... What does it feel like? It feels like, I guess, aluminum on aluminum is what it feels like. All right. Ergos are good. That's a really low profile button. So that really doesn't get in the way at all. Blade steel, 20 CV. Movement is. A little less than the shootout in all directions. Um, the blade is, it's a little thick behind the edge, but the blade stock isn't too overly thick. And we do have this nice big swedge, so that will help as well. A very fine tip here that I think will be good for utility cutting. It's pretty, you know, it's a pretty close to a spear point here, not completely a spear point but very close to a spear point. It's a good looking blade. That's kind of another cool thing about the shootout though, is the blade is centered in the handle. You can see this one here is off centered and most OTFs are off. This one is, um, the, the shootout is centered. Another cool thing about it. Now just looks wise, you know, one of my, my problem with a lot of OTFs is you have this huge fat handle and then this tiny little <laughs> blade poking out of it. It just looks off. The ratios look off. Uh, one reason I love the, the shootout is because this looks like just a regular knife handle. It doesn't look like an OTF handle. This, this same profile could be on a, a flipper or a thumb stud knife, you know? It's not just a rectangle. It's got ergonomic curves going on here. Um, this one's more of a rectangle. We got a little bit of stuff going on here. It's almost contoured because of these wide chamfers all the way around the edges. Um, as far as the ratios go, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, the blade looks a little small for the handle. 
um, but more lengthwise, not widthwise. So that's that's good. Um, I I hate it when uh, OTFs have this wide handle this way and then a tiny little skinny blade poking out. So in that way, this is pretty good, ratio wise. The strength of the action. It might be a little stronger than the shootout on the deploy, but on the retraction, I think the shootout is a little stronger. The uh, yeah, the deployment on this is real nice. The the uh, retraction is a little not quite as strong as the deployment, and that switch really is gliding though. It feels really nice, the switch. Nice texture on it. I don't feel like I'm slipping off. Clip is angled, um, which looks kind of weird, but I don't. I don't immediately dislike it. I think it'll go in out of the pocket well, and it's deep carry. You know, I don't know if it's going to beat the shootout uh, clip because this is a very good clip. Um, this is one of my favorite uh, Benchmade clips. Same clip, I believe, that's on the Mini Adamas too, and a few other Benchmades. Cool. Well, I'm really looking forward to cut testing with this thing. Um, the blade stock thickness, the, the shootout is definitely thinner. Pretty substantially thinner. Um, but like I said, we have the, the nice wide swedge. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't think it's going to slice better than the shootout. I just don't think it is. Let's measure behind the edge here. It felt pretty thick. We got 19 thousandths there. Let's move up a bit. 21 thousandths. 23 thousandths. 23 thousandths. That's on the thick side. Um, now let's check the shootout. It's, it's much thinner, I know that. We have 13 thousandths. 14. 15. Um, and then up at the Tonto, it gets pretty thick, but yeah, that's, that's to be expected. So yeah, um, we have full flat grind here, thinner behind the edge, and thinner blade stock. So there's no doubt about it. This is going to slice better. Uh, but that doesn't mean this will be a bad slicer. Um, it just means the shootout's going to slice better than this one. But we will find out how just how good it slices in the cut test. Can't wait. People do love this knife, and um, I get why. It's a good-looking knife. I think it's a good price, too. I don't remember exactly how much it is. It's USA-made. Um, yeah, I think this is probably one of the best things Kershaw has done in a while. At least it's one of the only things that's really caught my eye from Kershaw in, in recent times, so that's for sure. So, right on. Cut test coming soon. Thanks for watching. Like the video before you leave. Thank you. Adios.